In Power Apps, drop-down allows users to select value from a predefined. However, sometimes the user need to add an option which is not present in your drop-down. Now, Power Apps doesn't provide an inbuilt feature of Add New in their interface. So how we can achieve the Add New functionality in our application? Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. So, as we know that Power Apps doesn't provide an add new functionality by default, but we can make some alterations by creating a collection and using it in our Power Apps application to implement the add new functionality. So, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we will use a drop down instead of our text field to store the values in our SharePoint list. And we will create a collection to populate our drop down values. And after that, we will create a pop up so that we can implement the add new functionality. So first of all, here in my SharePoint list, we have our title, email, degree, year and GPA. Now our degree is our text type column. So we will implement the add new functionality in this column. So I will go to my power app. Here I have created the dashboard in which I am displaying all the records. And then we have our add and edit icon. From there, we can add and edit our record. Now to add the add new functionality, first we need to create a collect. So here in my app on start, I will create a new collection. First, I will write clear collect. The collection name will be called DEG for degree. And in our collection, I will add a value which will be plus add space new. Then I will close it and I will collect the data from our SharePoint list. So I will write collect called dig here. I will write distinct then our SharePoint list, which is student data and value will be our degree and close. Now to see our collection, we need to run app on start. So I will run it. And when I click here, here we have add new and all the degree data, which is stored in our SharePoint list. So now in my form, I will remove this text field and instead of text field, I will add a combo box here I have added my combo box and this error I will remove this it will be my combo box dot selected dot value now in my combo box I will write parent dot default after that I will go backwards and here you can see the data is being populated in our drop down and if I change let me correct this is multi select so we need to make the select multiple to false. Now, when I click on submit, so as you can see, our data is being updated from our combo box. Now we need to implement the add new functionality. So for that, first we need to add a condition here in the combo box. I will select on change. I will add a condition here. I will write if combo box to dot selected dot value is equal to our plus add new then we will create a boolean variable which will be where deg visible let me correct this will be update context now our variable name which is where deg visible and its value will be true else i will update the context again now in my else condition it will be false after that i will close my if condition now i will create a variable which will be store degree value to blank text after that i will close this then in my on select i will create a variable update context will be reset deg false so now i have added the condition now i have created my variables now we need to create our pop-up so i will create a rectangle here i will drag it in the middle then i will take another rectangle and i will place it here now in my small rectangle i will change its color then I will add the label in our pop-up it will be add degree font size i will increase it to 16 font weight i will set to bold and font color i will set it to white also i will take a back arrow so i will copy just this one paste drag it here and my this icons height and width i will reduce it to 30 it's too small so 40 and height will also be 40. now after adding the icon we will take the text input now I will reduce the text input width and remove the default text. After that, I will take a save icon. I will place it here. The icon color, I will set it to white. In the advanced section, I will add our condition. If is blank, our text input three dot text, then notify, please enter degree. Notification type will be dot error and duration will be thousand ms. Else I will update context. I'll set the store dig value to be text input 3 now let me add another thing which will be patching our collection so i will write patch then my collection name which will be called dig defaults call dig value will be text input 3 dot text let me format the text after the patch 
I will update the variable which will be where deg name to true. After that, I will reset my field which is text input 3. Also, the where deg visible will also be false. After that, we need to set our back. So here, I will update the context. Reset deg will be true, comma, store deg value will be blank, where deg name will be false and where degree visible will also be false after that i will format after formatting we need to do one more thing which is reset our text field which is text input 3 now i will go in my tree view i will select control then i will group them it and name the group group pop-up after that in our pop-up visibility i will set where deck visible so after that we will check our add new functionality so here i will create a new record in the title i will add the name ron ron at the rate email.com then in the degree i will select add new now we need to do one more thing before implementing the add new here in the default i will add my variable if where degree name is true then the value will be where deg sorry it was store deg value then close let me check one more thing which is here okay this is correct now we will check again our add new here i will select add new if i click save i'm getting error and here i will select doctoral click on save and as you can see the doctoral has been added in our drop down now i will add the year the gpa click on submit and as you can see the doctoral has been added let me correct this this was year now when i click here you can see the option has been added in our drop down list so this is how you can implement add new in your power apps so in this video we learned how to use a drop down instead of our text input in our form then we created a collection from our sharepoint list column data and we created a pop-up to implement the add new functionality in our power apps thank you for choosing know-how academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning